The idea of dragons and racing might seem medieval to some, but to others it's all very modern and highly competitive. Dragon Boat Racing has made its debut at the Games, as Kyla Raby reports. The River Torrens provided the perfect atmosphere for two days of competition on the water. Fantastic venue here, you know, you've got the Gaines Village over the other side there. Perfect setting for dragon boating on the Torrens here, central in the city. And tough competition it was with teams coming from all over the world. We've got, uh, for here we've had uh, Austria, Belgium, Helsinki, uh, Finland, um, Singapore, Hong Kong. We are very happy to represent Hong Kong to come to Adelaide to join the game. And uh, so far it is, it is very nice to, to meet a lot of new people. We make new friends and uh, it's good. Hong Kong boys! Hong Kong boys! Early competition saw local teams take out the top spots. Yeah, we had a great day yesterday with the uh, mixed tens team won a silver medal and our women's team won a silver medal as well. We won the open uh, mixed tens and we also won the senior mixed tens. However, the international teams have been putting up a good fight. Hong Kong and Singapore will be hard to beat, but the South Australian police are right up there and the uh, MFS won a gold yesterday and I think they want to add to that. This year is the first time dragon boat racing has been a part of the Games and its entry has been warmly welcomed. We've had about 20 teams, um, well sorry 20 crews and they've, they've formed different teams. So yeah there's been quite a few and there's been a lot of people wanting to join after the event. The sport is also becoming increasingly popular all around the globe. It's um, the fastest growing water sport in the world, dragon boating. There's about 43 million competitors in it. Adding to the atmosphere of the exciting sport is the local rivalry. Oh, it's a friendly rivalry always is between the police and the fireys. Never, never any angst, it's just good competition. There's been a long history between police and fire service, not just at these games, but at the police and emergency services games here and the Australian New Zealand police and fire service games. So who will come out yeah. on top? Uh, well, the MFS have, have done us the last last few years, but uh, this is a good opportunity for us to, uh, to get back at them at a, at a much bigger stage. Uh, we've got a few game plans. And the traditional rivalry will surely be continued in future events. We might put, take the uh, show on the road and uh, go over to Vancouver. It'd be great, great experience. Aussie, 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 Aussie. Yeah! Kyle Raby, Games TV.